Hello everyone, welcome to Retro For You. Today we're building a joystick tester. It's just a simple tester with LEDs that basically light up when you move the direction of the joystick. So, bought it in kit form from eBay. So we're going to open it up. There's the board. You also get the connector, battery holder and a load of LEDs. And of course the battery. So basically what we need to do is build this board up. I'll show you an LED now. You can test an LED with a battery. You've got the long leg which is positive, the short leg which is negative. So basically if we put them on this battery here it should light up. There you go. I have the power. Or rather all like ET. So what we need to do is get this built up. So, so taking check of what priority, positive, negative. We're going to place the first LED in, which is for the up. So long leg into positive, short leg in, and then we're just going to bend the legs out and solder them. So let's just get this first one soldered in. Just going to use some braided solder with flux inside I'll go get this soldered up there you go one two legs just make sure it flows nicely through the board to the other side and after this we'll just snip the two legs off, the excess. So as you can see now it's all soldered. Next goes on is the battery connector, or the battery holder. So again, taking care of positive and negative, we're going to fit this and solder it in place. Okay, so here it is complete. All soldered up. Batteries in. Let's give it a test. I've got this uh, bug joystick, which is one of my favourite joysticks as a kid. You can tell it's a bug look. Two eyes and a mouth. And Michael Switch. These things took a lot of abuse. Man, if you want to abuse a joystick, abuse this one as much as you want. It'll never break. So this came from a good friend, Mr. Andres, shout out to him. I'm going to uh, plug this in and give it a test. So basically when I press these, these lights should light up. Get it close. Oh, there you go. So we've got a, a power button, fire button, 
Pew 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 pew. Morse code. Dot dot dot. Dash dash dash. And the other fire button. Uh, yeah, I guess it's a bit. Doesn't seem to be contacting properly. Can we have up? No, we have no up. <laughs> left? No left. Right? No right. Oh, oh yeah, right, sort of contacting. Do you see it flick on? So right is sort of left, down, down is, yeah. So I guess this needs taken apart and uh, auto fire is working. I think next video, let me think what we can do. Next video could be, oh we've still got the CD32 to look at again. But if something arrives in the post and the next video will be another unboxing one actually. I won't tell you what it is. All I can tell you is obviously it's retro related. It could be anything. <coughs> Turn that auto file off before it gives me a seizure or something. So watching, if you have made it to the end, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye.